Every day, our Type X machines have to be set the same way the Germans set their enigmas. Otherwise, you just get nonsense from nonsense. And working out each day's settings is the hard part. That's where the cold breakers come in. How? Well, you, you need a crib. Suppose that gravestone was in code. If I knew he was buried here, more or less, I'd know what the code meant. That's a crib. And when you've set the machine, you type in the coded message. If it comes out nonsense, the settings are wrong. If it comes out Mary Jane Hawkins, you've broken enigma for that day. Why would Claire get hold of the Kestrel settings for April the 17th? She couldn't. Unless she had help. Kestrel will be filed in hut six. It's your hut. So now I'm a traitor too. Well, maybe she got access to one of the Type X machines from you. Type X girls work around the clock. Sorry. Stop. Look. The first seven ADUs were decoded. Now, what happens to decoded messages? Well, they get written into the German book. That's Claire's job. Then what? Well, then they get filed with everything else in the main registry. You ever been in there? Once or twice, to check some... No. No, 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 no. Reference or loan? Reference. Section? Part six. Control. What are they? Kestrel intercepts. March and April. He's a bit of a dark horse, isn't he? Hmm. Surprise a minute. But there are complications. Sorry to have been so long. I've never come across this before. The file was empty? There was a typewritten note. Dated April the 17th. Referring all inquiries to the Office of the Director General. And that night, four final ADU messages got on under the wire. Never deciphered, never filed. Taken home by Claire and hidden. Who is the Director General? Chief of the Special Intelligence Service. And he gets his order straight from the Prime Minister. Stuck again. Maybe. Maybe not. 